Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, coming soon. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a little girl who wakes up inside a dirty room of corpses all around her. She hears footsteps from outside the room and sees that she is tied up. The door opens to reveal an old woman, short named Scary Mother, who has a broken ankle. She is carrying a knife and has a disfigured face. The little girl is hiding inside the closet. Scary Mother yells at the child and she is about to leave but decides against it. The little girl cries as Scary Mother slowly approaches her. The little girl screams and tackles Scary Mother to the ground. She struggles to run away as Scary Mother holds both of her feet. Scary Mother gets her knife to stab the little girl, but she ends up stabbing her hand. The little girl runs to the door but has no luck in opening it. The chase continues as the little girl finds a hole in the wall. She tries to go through it, but her clothing catches on the wood. She gets dragged back inside. She wakes up tied to a chair. She hears the sound of the Scary Mother combing her hair. Scary Mother slowly turns towards her and the little girl sees that she is sitting at a dinner table full of disfigured children, and she screams out loud. The door opens and reveals a group of villagers looking for the children. The villagers doubt that Scary Mother took the children, but one of the villagers finds a trace of footprints on the ground. Scary Mother covers the little girl's mouth, saying that she'll gouge her eyes out so she won't be scared to look at Scary Mother. As the little girl's eyes are about to be gouged out, the villagers find them. The Scary Mother keeps claiming that the abducted kids are her children. But the truth is, her children burned to death in the past. The villagers cry and beat up the Scary Mother, with one woman slashing Scary Mother's face, causing scars on the sides of her mouth. They hang Scary Mother and yell at her angrily. A female film production staff is watching in the theater. It turns out Scary Mother's story is a film set. The staff leaves the theater and sees the director in the fire escape. They both smoke, discussing the film. The director mentions that he will edit the scene where they hung Scary Mother. The staff receives a phone call and the director leaves. Inside the theater, the film is still playing. It shows a little girl blindfolded, crying that Scary Mother is still there. The villager is calming her down, then he turns and sees the closet door open. Outside, the staff sees Scary Mother pass by in her peripheral vision. The movie theater is empty. The film plays with the hanging scene. She asks out loud in the projection room if the director is playing it. She hears a noise and starts to be frightened. The staff is about to run out of the theater, but the movie stops playing, and she sees the shadow of a person hanging from the ceiling. When she turns, she sees that it's Scary Mother and screams. There are two men inside the projection room talking about the film. The projectionist puts the film reels away, and while doing so, a piracy guy enters. Piracy guy tells him to switch the Scary Mother film reel with another horror film. The projectionist is hesitant. The piracy guy gives in half of his share for pirating the movie. In the locker room, the projectionist is on a call with his friend. He is placing his bets on three matches. A woman, nicknamed Beauty, enters the locker room. She drops a tube of lipstick. The projectionist picks it up and gives it to her. Piracy guy enters and interrupts the moment. The projectionist gestures a birthday cake to him to tell him about Beauty's birthday. Beauty walks down the hallway alone and hears a door open behind her. She turns to check. And when she faces her front, she sees the figure of Scary Mother in the middle of the hallway. The lights turn off as she runs away. She bangs loudly on the door to the locker room and begs for help. The door opens and Piracy Guy is holding a birthday cake, but she accidentally punches him. Behind her, their other co-workers are holding the prop of Scary Mother. They celebrate Beauty's birthday by drinking. She decides to leave early, and the projectionist follows her. While waiting for a ride, he tries to talk about her watch, but she tells him to forget about it and leaves. He goes back into the projection room and plays the film at the cinema, while Piracy Guy illegally records it. While the film is playing, he listens to the match he bet on and looks at the pawn shop receipt for Beauty's watch. He remembers what happened between the two of them. They used to be a couple. She saw him take her watch, and they fought. This results in the projectionist hurting her, causing a wound on her forehead. The next day, he wakes up alone in the theater. He runs down to see if Piracy Guy is there, but the theater is empty. He finds the camera and checks the footage. Beauty enters and asks the projectionist why he's there. She's also looking for Piracy Guy because they notice that he returned the wrong film reel. They worry that he is committing film piracy. The projectionist comes up with excuses. He enters the projection room and locks it. He rewinds the footage from the camera and sees that Piracy Guy was trying to escape from someone. The door buzzes with a friend who informs the projectionist that he won all the matches he bet on. 
He instructs the friend to redeem his prizes in Beauty's watch. The projectionist goes to Piracy Guy's apartment, but no one answers. He notices that the door is open and he enters. Inside the apartment, everything is a mess. He calls out Piracy Guy's name, but no one's there. Inside Piracy Guy's room, the fan is on. The projectionist tries to turn this off, but this electrocutes him. He notices footprints similar to the one in the film. He follows this and sees it coming from the closet. He opens the doors, only to find some clothes. Meanwhile, two men are looking for Piracy Guy. They're the ones who asked them to record the film illegally. They threaten the projectionist, and he tries to re-record the movie for them. He gets to the scene where the child is missing, and the villager notices the footprints coming out of the closet. The projectionist realizes that the prints are similar to those he saw in Piracy Guy's apartment. He calls Piracy Guy outside the theater. He hears the phones ringing coming from inside the theater. He searches for the phone in the seats, then realizes that the ringing is coming from the speakers. Piracy Guy is now inside the film, with his eyes gouged out. In fear, the projectionist runs outside to the hallways and hears someone walking behind him. He catches a glimpse of Scary Mother and runs outside. He hears the door open behind him and searches around the parking lot for Scary Mother. But he doesn't see her. He adjusts his backpack straps, which turn out to be the Scary Mother's arms. Actually, he is carrying her on his back, thinking he's holding his backpack. When he's home, he calls Beauty, but ends it. Then he hears a sound and lowers the TV volume. He follows the sound and sees footprints in the bathroom. Scary Mother's silhouette is visible from the shower curtains. She is combing her hair. He gathers the courage to pull back the curtains and finds nothing but a hairbrush on the floor. He then sees long strands of gray hair on the brush. At work, the projectionist is distracted. He sees that they're investigating the missing Scary Mother film reels, and he avoids them. His co-workers ask him to help them set up the film's posters. The projectionist reads on the poster that the film is based on a true story. So if he rewinds the video and sees the Scary Mother in it. In the theater, he sees Scary Mother watching the film. He decides to go down and check, but the seat is empty when he reaches it. He decides to sit in the theater. Then the seat in front of him starts reclining. He slowly checks who's in the seat, and it's only two small people in the seats. Beauty decides to go to the projection room. She sees the camera and checks the footage, but the projectionist snatches back the camera. She scolds him for illegally recording the film, and he explains everything going on. She doesn't believe him, accusing him of being high on drugs. He shows her the footage and tells her the strange things he's experiencing since then. Grabbing her arm, he asks her not to watch the film, but she pulls away and yells at him. Beauty tries to call Piracy Guy and looks for his body in the poster. The projectionist friend gives him Beauty's watch in the theater. The projectionist drops the watch, and when he picks it up, the friend suddenly turns into Scary Mother. The projectionist runs away into a crowd of people in the hallways. He runs into her again, and she rips her mouth open. He gets into an elevator, and it gets stuck. He screams and asks for help. Scary Mother is behind him, hanging from the ceiling. He tries to pry it open the doors, but Scary Mother is on the other side, and shocks him when it does. The employees find projectionist's body shaking and speaking incoherently. Beauty goes to his place and takes care of him. She tells her co-workers that he must have overdosed, but they tell her that projectionist hasn't used any drugs since they broke up. She looks up the film title on the internet and learns that the cast and crew suffered a curse. She researches about Scary Mother while watching the projectionist sleep. She searches for the word eye gouging and finds a story about Scary Mother, which was based on a true event that happened 30 years ago. The projectionist wakes up from a bad dream and sees beauty. They talk about the film and curse, concluding that they have to burn the Scary Mother's body to end the curse. The next day, they are on a bus going to Scary Mother's town. Throughout their journey, they see people with no eyes. Finally, they find the house, and it is empty. They enter it, and see that the place is filthy, with mice crawling everywhere. They climb up to the second floor and move a cabinet, where Scary Mother's hidden room is supposed to be. But it isn't there. Suddenly, the ceiling fan falls, and the projectionist pushes Beauty away to save her, and he gets hit and falls through the floor. Beauty leaves him momentarily to find help. The projectionist stands up and flashes the light around the room. He sees the dining room and the rope used for the hanging, but Scary Mother's body is nowhere. He finds burnt photos of Scary Mother and children. Suddenly, the door is being banged open. Beauty enters and asks him to come with her. Then, another beauty appears from the hole in the ceiling with a rope. The fake beauty tries to pull him into the darkness, and he struggles. When he pulls her into the light, the fake beauty's face is exposed, with scars on the sides of her mouth. He wakes up at the hospital with the real beauty and other people. 
He thinks that he'll end up like piracy guy. So he takes out Beauty's broken watch and says he doesn't think he can fix it. Beauty assures him that he'll be okay. The doctor asks them why they're in the house. However, they learn from the doctor that the real scary mother is still alive. So the two decide to visit her. Later, they see her in a psychiatric hospital. Right now, they wonder who the scary mother ghost that the projectionist has seen. A truck with scary mother's film banner passes by, and the projectionist follows it. He then realizes that the ghost haunting him is not the real scary mother, but the scary mother's actress. They go to the film production's office. A delivery man outside informs them that no one has reported to the office in a week. They break into the office and start searching. Beauty finds the team's name list and starts to call the numbers on it. The projectionist is searching through the drawers and finds an empty cassette case. He sees a camera and finds the tape in it. As he plays it on the TV, Scary Mother's actress was struggling to look like she was dying from hanging in the footage. The director was getting more and more frustrated as they did many takes. The staff talked to the Scary Mother's actress and assured her that everything was safe. In the next take, the director appears pleased at how the Scary Mother's actress was doing. But they saw that the safety sling was broken and the actress was dying. They rushed to get her down, but it was too late. The projectionist walks outside, and Beauty follows him. He tells her that she shouldn't go back to the theater if he doesn't survive. He shares what he saw on the tape and concludes that anyone who considers the hanging scene is fated to die. He gives her the watch back. Then, he pushes her away and apologizes before driving to the cinema. The two men looking for piracy guy see the projectionist. They corner him in the hallway outside the theater, but he runs to the projection room as soon as people come out. He burns the film's reel. When he steps back outside, the same thing happens again. The two men corner him. People leave the theater, and he burns the reel. When he walks out, the scene repeats. But this time, when the popcorn spills, he decides to punch one of the men until his face is bloody and burns the reel again. The man's face turns into a standee of Scary Mother, and then changes into Scary Mother's figure. He runs and sees the hanging scene playing in a hallway full of TV. He screams and runs away. Beauty arrives at the theater. The projectionist sees the fake beauty and calls out her name. Then she looks at him and goes into the theater. When he follows her, the real beauty appears behind him and follows him into the theater. But the doors are locked and she struggles to open them. The projectionist is inside and the movie is still playing. The hanging scene is on. He's still looking for beauty. When Scary Mother's body drops in the film, he faces the screen. Scary Mother slowly approaches him from behind. Then she chokes him when he faces her and shouts, Do you want to see me die? He runs to the hallway and almost gets stabbed by Scary Mother. She is chasing him with a knife. Soon after, he enters the fire exit and closes the door. And suddenly, he is in Scary Mother's house. He opens the door behind him again, but it's now a wall. He slowly approaches another door. On the other hand, Beauty finally enters the theater and sees him on the screen. The projectionist sees the dining table full of Scary Mother's victims and drops his flashlight. He realizes what's happening and he hugs his knees to his chest. Scary Mother's hands slowly cover the projectionist's eyes. Beauty watches and cries as she sees Scary Mother gouge out his eyes. She falls to her knees and cries, screaming his name alone in the cinema. After some time, the film is still showing in cinemas. A lot of people come to watch it. The film plays and Beauty's body is inside Scary Mother's house. During the hanging scene, the audience's faces are disturbed. The movie ends when Scary Mother says to the audience, Do you want to see me die? This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.